In this video, we're going to tackle this problem. Show that the transformation represented by the matrix A, which is 4 minus 3, 2 minus 5, has no invariant points other than the origin. So what I want to do is I want to look at 4 minus 3 to negative 5 being applied to the coordinates x, y. If there are invariant points, then this would be equal to x, y. Okay? So solving this will allow me to find which points are invariant okay, under this transformation. So we've got 4 minus 3 times by the xy, so we're going to have 4x take away 3y. 2 minus 5 multiplying the xy, so 2x take away 5y. And that's got to be equal to xy. So our top line would say that 4x take away 3y must be equal to x. In which case, 3x must be, uh, sorry, take away 3y is 0, so taking the x from both sides, which implies that x is equal to y. Add the 3y to both sides, divide through by 3. In this case, in the bottom, we've got 2x take away 5y is equal to y. So 2x take away 5y, take away y, is 2x take away 6y is equal to 0. And that means that 2x is equal to 6y, so y will be equal to 1 third x. Or let's write it around this other way so I've got it consistent with that one. So x is equal to uh, 3y. Okay? So you can either think of this as y equals x, or, uh, and this one is y equals 1 third x. That might be more suitable. So then it's thinking, right, well, are these two equations consistent? Well, they are only consistent uh, at one point. There is only one point where these two lines intersect. So um, when you're putting one equal to the other, you've got this situation. Okay? So putting the y's equal to one another. So that's only going to happen when x is 0. And so if x is 0, then y is 0 as well. So 0, 0 is the only invariant point. As the question suggested. Okay? And so that is made clear by the algebra. 